Now, thanks so much for being with us. A lot of chatter all around Columbia about everything going on this weekend. However, front and center tonight, President Biden. He's going to be visiting the capital city for a Democratic celebration tomorrow. News 19's Peyton Lewis has the details. It's going to be a busy weekend here in Columbia. The, the Bidens are in town. The Bidens are here. We're just excited about that. The Bidens are in town. Today, White House leaders started making their way to town, starting with First Lady Dr. Jill Biden attending the Pink Ice Gala. We wanted something that would be memorable, and having uh, First Lady Dr. Biden here is a great honor. Diane Price Williams is the president of the Alpha Kappa Alpha chapter in Columbia and says the Pink Ice event drew a big crowd this year. We normally have a lot of traffic with our Pink Ice Gala, but this one, I'm sure it's going to be a lot more because last year we had over 4,200 guests. President Biden will be in town tomorrow night for a South Carolina Democratic dinner and celebration at the state fairgrounds. We're bringing 700 and some people here tomorrow night for from all across the state. Jay Parmley, the executive director for the South Carolina Democratic Party, says as someone who lives and works in Columbia, he's looking forward to welcoming the president. And he even gave us a sneak peek of the cocktail hour room for tomorrow night's dinner. We do have people from around the country coming in for this dinner uh, as well. So that as a as a as a local resident, I'm always eager for people to see that Columbia has a lot more going on than what uh, a lot of people give credit for. As of now, we know that the areas surrounding the fairgrounds and downtown Columbia will be congested. And that's why we tell people to pack their patience and to also make certain you arrive early. Reporting in Columbia, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX. Well, as you just heard there, the First Lady was in the Midlands today before the Pink Gala. She was at a rally of teachers who are supporting President Biden's re-election campaign. The First Lady is a lifelong educator teaching community college. Here's what she had to say. All of you were called to this profession for a reason. Because you never give up on the families you serve. Because you continue to believe that a better world is possible. And you make that world real. One student at a time. And none of this could happen without the support of our unions. Well, the First Lady's visit coming just a week ahead of our state's Democratic presidential primary, which takes place a week from tomorrow.